the Illuminati. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. The oldest conspiracy in history. Although many celebrities dismiss the idea of such a thing, many others confirm its existence. Dave Chappelle has never been a part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. What some don't know is that this secret society is very much real. This will be it. This is it. And when I say this is it, it really means this is it. Or at least it was in many ways than just one. From rituals, clones, sacrifices, politicians, and celebrities, this has become one of the biggest conspiracies of all time. The real question is, did the secret society grow and obtain world power, or did it die out in the 18th century? What exactly is the Illuminati? Would you want to explain since you're such a big fan of it? I'm, I'm not a fan. I feel like they use like satanic rituals to get into power. The Illuminati is a group of people who have control over the world. They have partnered up with Satan to do this. Mm -hmm. In order to join, you must sell your soul to the devil. Why would anyone do this? In exchange for power, money, and or fame. According to the conspiracy theory, Political figures and celebrities are both accepted into this secret society, the Illuminati, because they hold power and influence over the people. Some people who are allegedly a part of the Illuminati, Beyonce, JC, Kanye West, Ariana Grande, Peyton List. Kanye West? Kanye West. There's no way. No? I would hope not. Well, allegedly, he's part of it. Mm. Little Nas X. He had a whole shoe collab. I that know. had the devil thing on there. Yeah. He's number one on I'm there. kind of a fan of Little Nas X, though. No. I'm a big fan. Sorry, I cannot. I am a big fan uh -uh. of his work. If you make a collab with, <laughs> uh, with a certain shoe brand and all you can come up with is something satanic, you're promoting it. Kelly Clarkson, Andrew Garfield, Kevin Hart, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift. Doja Cat. It's the main one, dude. She's been going absolutely crazy with it. Rihanna, The Weeknd, Sam Smith. Just to name a few of the celebrities that are supposedly in this Illuminati. You know, the devil, before he became the devil, he was really good with music. Is that so? Yeah. Really? Yes. This one soul singer, he was stuck in this like cornfield and he ran into the devil. And I, I don't know the story like word for word or whatever, mm -hmm. but he asked the devil to help him play the guitar because he sucked. So the devil took the guitar, he started playing, he gave it back. That's when the guy started going crazy. Where did this originate from? Where on earth did people come up with the idea of the Illuminati? Was it ever actually a thing or did people just make it up? Like any other conspiracy theory there is. The Illuminati was actually a real thing in the 1800s. It all started with this one man named Adam. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Way shot. No, that is not how you say it. I heard it's something like Weizen something. Adam Weishaupt. Way shot. Adam joined this university and he was the only non-clerical professor at this university. Non-clerical just means that you're not a religious leader of some sort and everybody in this university was a religious leader of some sort. Everyone else here looked down upon those who weren't, especially Adam because he was working there, basically bullying him. Hey, dude. Adam, get your stuff together, dude. And Adam did not like that. Adam mm. was a very petty. He Not only was he non-clerical, he became anti-clerical. He hated these people now. It's not that he wasn't religious or anything, it's just he hated the bullying, and so he got petty, and he created his own secret society. The only reason he created <clears throat> the society is to spread the ideas of the Enlightenment. Do you remember what the Enlightenment is? We learned this in history class. You, you remember in the history books? When they were migrating west and they saw that lady? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> is that, is, does that have to do with it? I, I think so. I don't remember that very well. So you're dumb too. I am dumb. But <laughs> <laughs> the Enlightenment is a physiological... Physiological? Philosophical? A, philosophical? A, a philosophical movement in the 18th... Right. Yes, philosophical! 
Philos oh no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That doesn't sound right. Philosophical. So, philosophical, there you go. A philosophical movement in the 18th century marked by a rejection of traditional social, religious, and political ideas. Basically, the separation of state and church. Mm. So at this time period, people were fighting for the right to keep those two separate. Not necessarily that people were anti-religious, it's just the fact that they didn't feel like religion had anything to do with the government. That's it's kind of crazy how religious people always had power. And Adam did not like this hold of power that the Jesuits had. The secret society that he made was to contrast that, to try and spread the ideas of the Enlightenment to keep the church and the government separate. The society that he created was none other than Illuminati. not the Illuminati. The Nazis? <laughs> no, definitely Sorry. not. The name was Covenant of Perfectibility. But then they realized that name sounded really dumb. It sounded Actually, really stupid. Yeah. It was. It was pretty stupid. And they changed it to the Order of Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. This year was 1778. Mm. Oh, that's that's three years after the United States. Very well, two years. Three exactly. years as a Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. So who was allowed to join in this Illuminati? Well, you had to be a man. As it should be. No. <laughs> you had to be a Christian. Surprise, surprise. So nothing about Satan. And obviously, this person, Adam, favored people who were rich, docile, and willing to learn and around the ages of 18 to 30. Do you know what docile means? It either means very friendly or very hostile. Nope. Docile means submissive. Okay, yeah. And compliant. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Basically a cult. By 1784, there were around 650 to 2,500 members in the Illuminati. Dang. This included influential people, including politicians of the time. George Washington. Nope, nope, but he is involved. He is involved. Because there were a lot of well-known people in the Illuminati, word started spreading and people started finding out that there was this secret society amongst politicians. They thought, oh, they must be with Satan. And so they were worried about this and the government started keeping track. Eventually, the government put out a ban against all secret societies. So the government was the reason the Illuminati fell apart. After that ban, Allegedly. Allegedly. After that ban, the Illuminati ceased to exist. Allegedly. 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 However, it was not just the Illuminati. There were other secret societies. One that I would even say is more powerful than the Illuminati. Much older too. It's called the Freemasons. Have you ever heard of it? I've heard of it, I don't know what it is. There are a lot more parallels to the Freemasons and the alleged present Illuminati than there was with the actual Illuminati society. Fun fact, the Illuminati was actually based on the group, the Freemasons. Adam tried to join the Freemasons. Oh man, he got rejected by the ordained, he got rejected by the secret society, so he's like, you know what? I'm making my own. Exactly. Gonna... The Illuminati was based on the Freemasons. Everything that the Illuminati was, was basically the Freemasons, just a different group. In order to be a Freemason, you had to be a man and believe in a higher being. A conspiracy, I am a man. Conspiracy th You are not gonna be a part of this group. And I believe in a higher being. <laughs> so the conspiracy theories of the time said that this secret society was conspiring to bring upon the New World Order. New World Order, if you don't know, is a secretly emerging totalitarian world government. Oh, like one person rules the whole world? Yes. Why would you even want, like, I've thought of this so many times because it happens in a lot of movies. Why would you want to do that? That's too much work, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then, dude, you're in one place of the world. You're telling me you have to hear stuff from freaking Venezuela? What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. They also claim that this group practiced satanic rituals, although it was never confirmed. The Freemasons. Now here is where name drops are gonna be at. Ooh, they are not gonna like this. The people who were in the Freemasons. George Washington. Oh, this is back then. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And funny enough, George Washington was actually a master mason, which is the highest basic rank of the Freemasons. Benjamin Franklin. The man on the hundo. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Gerald Ford, Winston Churchill, and even Mozart. Freaking Mozart. Who's that? Oh, is, is he the, is he? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, exactly. That okay. Uh, is that Beethoven? Conspiracy theorists of the time. No, because there are so many people in this group who were influential political figures. And so they thought that because these people were up there in the government, they were trying to bring upon this new world order. And they saw it within the dollar bill. Oh, they have the Illuminati thing in the back with the pyramid in the eye. That is one of the symbols for the Freemasons. The all-seeing eye. They had sacred geometric designs interwoven into American society, particularly in the Great Seal of the United States and obviously the $1 bill. And this was all a scheme to try to get the first Masonic government. Mm -hmm. According Masonic? according Freemason, according to the conspiracy theories of the time. Then and then and then on the back of the Great Seal is this Latin phrase. Novus or Ordo Secular, I have no idea how to say it. But it translates to Give new, me life, no, give me liberty, no, or give me death. Neither one of those things. New order of the ages, which people think it's the new world order. I mean, look, so they were they were coming from overseen by the king of England. What if the new world order is just the order that they we have today? Yeah. That's what they mean by new world order. Mm -hmm. Like they're in a new world. Yeah. The Americas. Yeah. Dude, the religious people of this time were freaked out. You're welcome. I, I freaked out. I just solved the mystery. <laughs> but once the Illuminati fell apart, once the Freemasons fell apart, mm. conspiracy theorists again, uh -oh. specifically Shane Dawson. No, not Shane. Abe Agustin Baruel and John Robinson both wrote books that illustrated conspiracies of them still being around despite the ban. They were still thriving in secrecy, even more secrets than before. And some people think they never faded out till this day. Are the Illuminati real? And, and if so, why haven't I been invited? Garfield, Garfield, where are you? I, I know you know. I know you know. All right, so the Illuminati today, what is it? What has it become? Jay Z, Spoilers. Beyonce, Con dude, I can't believe Kanye West, is Kanye West, Kanye West is in the Illuminati. Well, according to some people, that's it's because he preaches so much about being being. Well, I guess him him saying he's God is kind of a red flag, but yeah, he did say that. Is who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. I just told you. That's so weird. Also, I don't think JZ likes Kanye. They made a song together and he did not want to make it with him. Really? Yeah. Okay, this is not a drama channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the humiliation ritual. Dude. Do you know of any? Don't you care? With all with all with her shaving her head, shaving her eyebrows, doing all that craziness. That was her way in. I don't know what it was. It's just she needs help. Okay, you or are not going therapist. to be diagnosing people. On I'll the diagnose show. wherever I want. One of the most famous humiliation rituals that we know of is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is in the Illuminati too. It would make sense. That's why she's dating the football guy. Look, look, no, look, look, look. Oh, what is she recruiting him? Travis Kells. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. It was back when. She was on stage. Oh, and wait, Kanye wait. did that thing to her? Yes, yes. What happened? Taylor Swift went up on stage for an award that she got. And then my boy Kanye goes up there. He said, wiggle, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. Yo, I think my, I don't know if it was a girl or a dude. I'm pretty sure it would have been a girl. A lady artist. Deserved. You don't remember who it was? Was it Beyonce? It was Beyonce. Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. It was Beyonce. It makes sense, right? Oh my God. And she's Queen B. Yeah, so she deserved that humiliation. She's from Houston as well. Beyonce did not get the humiliation. 
I understand she, that she didn't she, get... She was recruiting Taylor Swift. She embarrassed her. Okay, so, okay, so, okay. Since you really don't know what's going on. Dang, that just means Kanye West was... Kanye West. <laughs> Kanye West was a lackey. A what? A lackey. What is that? He He's a worker. He's not the boss. So Kanye West was helping Taylor Swift with the humiliation ritual so mm. that she could join, right? So Taylor Swift got humiliated on stage in Hold front on. of everybody. You know what else is weird that Kanye what? did? He... Had a like life size mannequins of a lot of famous people in oh, his bed. Yeah. Taylor Swift was in there, and she did not like that. She's like, "Dude, I already passed my humiliation ritual. Why are you doing this? Come on now." <laughs> That's a real stop. conversation that you heard. They probably had it. They probably had it. You know what's crazy about that though? What? Not just that. So she got her award or whatever. She went backstage or whatever. And then Beyonce comes on stage, <laughs> right? And she she's trying to unhumiliate Taylor Swift I guess and she's like she's like well I just want to give Taylor Swift the proper introduction or whatever she said and then Taylor Swift comes on stage in a different dress mm. Beyonce was wearing a red dress do you know what Taylor Swift changed into a red dress a red dress her ritual had succeeded <laughs> and now she is welcomed into the Illuminati I guess allegedly right there is another initiation ritual that you may not know of it is called the dress ritual men 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 oh, wear dresses wear dresses uh, yeah I think I've heard of this I think that's kind of dumb oh and also human sacrifices our that's, thing. That's weird. Yeah, so Kanye West said that his mom was sacrificed. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. You sacrificed his freaking mom? I don't freaking... No, no, no. No. Allegedly. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Allegedly. That's so sad because he... I think he put his mom on one of his verses in, in, in like a song that he had for his daughter. That's so evil. Yeah. If that, if that were true. There are also claims that the Illuminati have intentionally killed off original artists because maybe they wanted to expose the truth and instead cloned them. Britney Spears. It's Britney, bitch. Have you, have you seen her newer videos? No, I don't I don't even know who Britney Spears is. Okay. I do know her, obviously. She's become very popular because of the whole conservatorship thing, right? Do you know about it? No. God, we're gonna have to make a video about that. Very popular. She was unfortunately a victim of the conservatorship. Recently, she's been, she, or maybe not so recently anymore, but she puts out videos of her dancing and it's all weird and, and like she's like, it looks like she's like on drugs. Dude, she's been like this since 2001. <laughs> this, this is not surprising. This, this one specific video where she's outside dancing and then she goes like this. And then when you when she does this, if you slow down the video and zoom in, you can see a filter come off, and it's the eyes of someone else. Oh, a lizard! No, not a lizard. <laughs> no, there's this thing where there's I know, lizard I've heard people. of it. Yeah, yeah I've heard she's, of it. she's a lizard. No, but no, not that. It's another person who has an AI filter of Britney Spears. People think it's actually Jamie Lynn Spears, who is the sister of Britney Spears, covering up as Britney Spears. And so people are worried about Britney Spears, like, where is she? We haven't heard from her. Is oh, she okay? and we've never seen Jamie Lynn Spears and Britney Spears in the same room. I think we have. So that's already false. No, I'm no, no, I'm thinking Jamie Lynn Spears is using an AI filter to cover for the fact that her sister is missing. That's what I'm saying. But you said we've seen Britney Spears and Jamie Lynn Spears in the same room. I don't think he gets what I'm trying to say. Recently. No, I no. I don't so know. So it's not recent. If it's not recent, that means she is covering up her sister's death. Oh, oh, and this other thing about the clones, just real quick, about the clones. Look, Taylor Swift is so freaking weird. Have you seen the person that she looks like, like so much. She, she looks exactly like this person. She she is like a reincarnation, basically. Of Rihanna? No. <laughs> Her name is Zena LaVey. Zena LaVey was a very popular Satanist of the 80s. So she's a vampire. But anyway, she looks exactly like her. It's so eerie. Let's talk about Michael Jordan. I mean, not Michael Jordan. <laughs> Let's talk about 
Michael Jackson. Like, I feel like Michael Jackson was never in the Illuminati, but they tried to convert him. Many times, I feel like Michael Jackson tried to speak out about the Illuminati, right? He was out of it though, man. Was There's, he though? Dude, yeah. What? Do you never see that video where he was hanging his son off the freaking balcony? He was showing the crowd. Like that makes it okay. <laughs> It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't. But I think That's I think he didn't think it through. I think I think it's one of those dumb moments, you know? If you see me <laughs> holding a freaking baby over a freaking balcony <laughs> on two stories or three stories high, <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna yell at you. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna say that Michael Jackson declined to join the Illuminati. In his song, They Don't Really Care About Us, he says, Will me, throw me, you can never kill me. Looks like he's dead. Then he has another song called Escape, and it talks about escaping death. People think that Michael Jackson was actually a poke fun at the Illuminati, like, like, hey, you, you want to get me, but you can never get me. I'm going to escape death, and you're not going to know about me, da, da, da. So people think that Michael Jackson faked his own death to escape death from the Illuminati. But I don't believe that. I believe he actually passed away. Whenever you decline to join the Illuminati, or the Illuminati tries to lock you up, kill you, or just make your life a living hell. Michael Jackson was no stranger to a whole bunch of accusations and allegations and controversy during his time of being famous. There's a lot of allegations against him, which I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about it in this video, but there were. People think the Illuminati was behind it all. Okay, so yeah, either Michael Jackson was killed by the Illuminati or he escaped death. I believe, and I say this loosely, <laughs> I believe he was killed off by the Illuminati because Michael Jackson wrote down little notes and called his mother, I think, or his family, and talked about someone trying to kill him. To kill him. That was premeditated, that they had planned to do, and they planned to take my brother out, and my brother knew it. And that's why he told me repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly that this was going to happen to him. He knew he was going to die. Wasn't he off drugs or no? Uh, it was something in the hospital, like the doctor gave him too much or something or something like that. What, what, what? They classified Jackson's death as a homicide. Oh, seriously? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So they think he was killed by, by the Illuminati. Because mm -hmm. what, what, what would the doctor have against him? Exactly. Why would he kill the kid? No, I think it was an accident. That is not an accident. But, but, but not only that, not only was he talking about an alleged killer, but his family went on an interview to say that they believe that his death was no accident. They believe themselves. They alleged to some sort of secret society. When I found out he, was, he had actually passed, I said, no, it wasn't an accident. He was murdered. Your brother was murdered. They could have told me a heart attack. They could have told me he had fallen off a ladder. And I would have said, no, it's not a heart attack. He was murdered. That is why I believe his death was no accident. And if, if it is one of those two, he definitely got killed off by the Illuminati. As fellow Disney stars, are you all in a secret Illuminati-like club? No. Is it because you can't tell me if you are? No. Is that true, Sam? Inconclusive. <sighs> Can you imagine? <laughs> there are, you know those lie detectors that they do on YouTube? Mm hmm Have you watched those? Uh, very few. Very few. Mm -hmm. Well, there are some celebrities that go on these YouTube channels or whatever, get their lie detector test done by professional, you know. They ask the question, are you a part of the Illuminati? Are you a part of the Illuminati? No. Are you in the Illuminati? You're a very angry person. You ask a lot of questions with a lot of anger in your voice. I just want you to know that it doesn't make a person entirely comfortable. Making people comfortable isn't my job. They either answer with a joke. Part of the Illuminati. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really the truth? No. <laughs> they answer yes or they answer no. And every single time, it either comes off as inconclusive 
<laughs> or a lie. Well, if it's a lie, wouldn't it be a good thing? No, no, no. Like if they were to say, oh, I'm no? not an Illuminati. Oh, wow. It comes out as a lie or it comes off as inconclusive. inconclusive. Are you a part of the Illuminati? Yes. No, I'm not. Did that come up as a lie when I said yes? Yes, that's true. Oh, shit. <laughs> But not only that, this is the craziest thing I've heard based on the Illuminati. This one is the one, this is why I saved it for last. I don't know if you know this. I don't. If you search up on Google, mm. the Illuminati backwards, spelled backwards, guess what pops up? Michael Jackson. No, not Michael Jackson. Hold on, hold on. Tell me what the first result is. Search it up. Shout out to Willowstar13, Wealthy923, Drew Dolan2048, Kari Run is a uh, Sayed6573, and Spark Tanking9939. National Security Agency? The NSA, the government. Isn't that crazy? You know, before starting this video, I thought the Illuminati was so stupid. Every time you would talk about the Illuminati, Levy, mm. I thought you were the craziest person on the planet. Sorry to say. Thank you. I thought it was the most dumbest theory of all. Why would celebrities be in the Illuminati? But after reading up on the history of the Illuminati, political figures were a part of these secret societies. They had, the government had to place a ban on them <laughs> to restrict them. Like, it would make sense. And they kept it under wraps. Exactly. But the fact that they're still a secret is so crazy. Maybe it is possible. I, if it was back then, maybe it is now. Bigger, better, more technology, more secrecy. And not only that, but I don't think they're called the Illuminati anymore because that would give it away. I think maybe they have a newer name. But who knows? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Let do me you, know. Do you believe in the Illuminati? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next. And we're next. We're not next. I will never be joining. Do this. I don't want to do that. <laughs> do like this. This. Don't do it. You stop. Well, it's not I'm not in the Illuminati. Anyways, continue. And if the Illuminati contacts me, I will be sure to let you know. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't because I don't want to get killed. Facts. Um, I would keep it a secret. Okay. Me too. Goodbye, wonderful people. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. For the chance to get a shout out in the next video, comment down clones. Okay, bye-bye.